It's about the restoration of our republic. We want to educate, encourage, enable the power. We stand for integrity, honesty, self-reliance, self-defense, and most importantly, no compromise on our foundational principles. This is America's Voice Now. Find America's Voice Now on Facebook and at americasvoicenow.org. Here's Michael Evans. Good morning, America. You're listening to America's Voice right now, right here. Well, am I glad you're with us this morning. It was one heck of a weekend. (laughs) If you were not up and about and paying attention this weekend, my gracious, my goodness, I don't know what to say to you. Boy, I see a ton of you out there this morning. I see Lincoln. I see Sioux Falls. I see Chesterfield, Gonzales. Don't know where that is. And Enos, Texas, uh, Los Angeles, uh, Clarksville. Boy, there's a whole ton of you guys out there this morning. Branson. See uh, Hollywood, or uh, not Hollywood, (laughs) duh. Uh, Chicago. Nobody in Hollywood listens to me, promise. (laughs) If they do, it's only to gather information so that they can throw rocks at me. Um, Boy, what a weekend we had going over with the Bundy issue. Uh, If you're not familiar with it and you weren't paying attention uh, or you were busy doing your taxes, trying to pay the government so that they can utilize your money against you, then let me bring you up to speed. Uh, The Bundy Ranch scenario was... um, I mean, just stunning, ladies and gentlemen. Have no fear. They'll be back. If you missed the first movie, there will be a sequel. I promise you that. And and the the purpose, of course, of their activity will be more treasonous abuse of citizens using the heavy-handed tyranny of federal government. But basically, uh, over, over the course of the weekend, the Bundy protest got to the point where there were a literal uh, militia pointing guns at, fi- at uh, federal officials, federal officials threatening to shoot unarmed and uh, peaceful protesters. And uh, the militia stepped up and uh, said, if you shoot them, we're shooting you. And <laughs> um, they backed down. They gave him back his cattle. Uh, they promised that they, would, uh, that they would back away and then refused to return his cattle uh, there's a ton of videos up on our Facebook page and up on our, our website at America's Voice Now. Please visit there. Please make sure that you, if you go to our website, please hit the, uh, or, or put your email address in and, and add yourself to our, our list of, uh, for our email newsletter. But in addition to that, please like our Facebook page. And if you go to our Spreaker page, please make sure that you check, uh, check the follow button so that we can boost those numbers because it helps us to get onto uh, uh, iHeartRadio. So the upshot was, it turns out that there's a lot more dirt behind this whole Bundy Ranch thing than anybody thought. And by the way, I want to issue a correction. The other day when we were talking about this, I believe it was Friday, I had mentioned that there were wild horses on this range and that there were some 2,000 of them, only uh, 700 which were authorized under BLM. That was in Utah, so please let me correct that point. Um, and I caught it myself, nobody else did, but I want to make sure I put the correction out there because uh, I never want to be inaccurate if possible. And the stuff is moving very quickly, folks. So I know we talked on Friday about some of the issues maybe uh, behind or what was behind this, and we were talking about fracking and, and uh, lease deals for uh, oil and gas exploration, and certainly that is a part of it. But over the course of the weekend, Uh, A lot of investigation was done, and all of it, I might add, by the alternative media. Not one time did you see any of the MOP, that's the Ministry of Propaganda, also known as mainstream media. Not once did you see any of them come out and expose either the issue surrounding BLM land leases for oil and gas uh, or the Dirty Harry clean energy problem. Now... If you're not familiar with that one, let me bring you up to speed on that. Dirty Harry, the biggest trader in the, in the Congress today, uh, he and his five sons, all of, them, all of them up to their eyeballs in corruption, have been working with a Chinese firm called ENNN. 
and they have been working to put together this this land deal in Clark County, Nevada. Now, Clark County, don't get me wrong, is a huge geographic area, but essentially they sold uh, 9,000 acres of public land that belonged to Clark County now, not to the Bureau of Land Management. And they sold this to ENN for the bargain price of $4.5 million. Now, that's 500 bucks an acre, and interestingly enough, the, um, the Las Vegas Review Journal had put out an article some time ago and questioned what was up with this massive discount because this land had been previously appraised for between 30 and $40 million. And suddenly, Dirty Harry and his boy step in. And by the way, Dirty Harry's son, his law partner is the one who is the liaison between the, uh, the BLM and, and, and uh, Nevada in the state of Nevada and Clark County, and ENN, right? And the Department of Energy and all these. So basically, he's the front man who's betraying and acting on behalf of ENN to create favorable deals for that country, or that company here in our nation. Now, a couple of other issues surrounding this deal. Not only was the land sold to them for four and a half million dollars when it was worth 30 at, ba- at best, 30 million. That's the lowest estimate. That's the lowest appraisal. Not an estimate, folks, an appraisal. Okay? So this is 30 million, uh, 30 million dollars worth of land at best sold to these people for four and a half million dollars and they got tax incentives. And it wasn't, this isn't like us questioning this. This isn't me just, you know, throwing something out there and saying, well, what's going on with this? The Las Vegas Review Journal put out the question, what's up with the steep discount that ENN got for this land? Hello? Now, in addition to that, Reed helped ENN to obtain a group of of uh, state and federal waivers in order to put this this uh, system in. And what the system is, is it's a group of uh, mirrors that reflect sunlight into a tower that has a boiler at the top. And basically, they point enough sunlight at it, the water boils, you generate steam, your steam creates, throws a turbine into spin, the turbine creates electricity, boom, okay? Cost a lot of money. The, the estimates on this thing is anywhere between three and five billion dollars. And they got the land for a song. Hello. By the way, there's others, and it's on our Facebook page, so please go to our Facebook page and see. There are others, uh, uh, other farms like this that are literally cooking birds as they fly through. You know, the birds don't recognize that all this heat is being generated and, and reflected towards these towers. So as they fly through, literally it's singeing the feathers right off these birds. So that just goes to show you that the BLM is not an animal uh, rights organization or anything else that they're alluding to. They've been telling us all along it was about this desert tortoise, which we did accurately report. They had 1,400 of these desert tortoises, and when they lost their funding, they euthanized half of them. So it wasn't about tortoises. It wasn't about uh, anything else other than the fact that they got to have what? Clean title. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what it's all about. The Chinese want clean title to a piece of property. They have, through ill-gotten gains, bought from the county of uh, uh, the Clark County in Nevada, with the help and assistance and collective uh, work of Harry and Rory Reed, the dirtiest family in Nevada. Frankly, why you people aren't tarring and feathering this entire family and ejecting them from your state? with a banner that reads dishonorably discharged is beyond my comprehension. The truth is, ladies and gentlemen, that our nation is falling to tyranny from the inside because of people like Harry Reid, Rory Reid, and the rest of the Reid clan. They're not alone, don't get me wrong. But the truth is that these solar farms are being built by, in large cases, foreign interests on our property. The BLM is not about property management. They classify themselves, once they take over, as property owners. They're not. They're landlords, if you will, who are, they're not really even landlords because a landlord owns the building. They're property managers. Property manager doesn't own the land. 
So the truth is, uh, what we've got here is a group of traitors in our own government who are doing anything and everything to remove and, and to uh, remove our sovereignty as a nation. This is all about paying back debts, either political or financial, and making sure that the Chinese and, and, uh, are, are allowed to retain our land as collateral for the massive debt we owe them, and to engender and, and, and force through Agenda 21. And if you think that that's a bunch of malarkey, then you're the fool, the joke's on you. Because the truth of the matter is, Agenda 21 is real, they're practicing it, they're putting it in play, and you're the one who's being played. That's the truth. Everything else that you hear from the mainstream media, everything detractors say about it, everybody who poo-poos you is a tinfoil hat, they all have either a vested interest in, in making sure that you don't really know the truth, or they've been promised some sort of a seat at the table, or they're just misinforming you out of their own ignorance. But don't ever parrot someone else's opinion. Formulate your own. Utilize the critical thinking skills that you have. Ignore and shut off and boycott mainstream media and find alternative media sites that will give you the information that you need. That's the truth, folks. Everything else you hear is propaganda and mind control. And I mean mind control, you know, not in Vigo waves. I'm not saying that they're, they're pummeling waves into your head. It's just a constant litany and a diatribe of BS that's fed to you every moment of every day. Corporations, look, I, I expose to you the Comcast Time Warner merger that's coming up. That's up right now before the FCC. There's already only six companies that feed you all the propaganda you can handle. And now they're going to narrow that down to five. Two of them are merging. <clears throat> By the way, every person who sits on the committee to review it has received a ton of lobbying donations. Hello. You know what bothers me the most about lobbyists and politicians? They accept 30 pieces of silver for the life of this country. I mean, you couldn't buy anybody cheaper. They'll take a 20 or a $50,000 donation to a PAC to betray their nation. you got to be kidding me. To betray their own sons, their own daughters, their own family members. The country that made them great. The country that made this nation stand above, shoulder, head and shoulders above the rest of the world. They'll sell us down the road for what, 30, 50,000 bucks? You're kidding me, right? No, I'm not. I mean, that's the equivalent That's the equivalent of getting somebody to sell all the gold in Fort Knox for for $100,000. Maybe $20. I mean, come on, how cheap can you be? How cheap can you get? Talk about the lowest bidder. These scumbag traitors in Congress, all of them, not a single one of them is authorized or, or, or should be allowed to exist and continue in that job. Every single one of them should be fired, removed, and labeled dishonorably discharged. You know, I, I created this shirt. Well, I shouldn't say I created it. I had, a, I had some friends create it. If you'd like one, We've got them available for you. I know I don't sell stuff on this show. I hate that kind of crap. But the truth is, I've got these, and you're, they're available to you. We had our, our logo emblazoned on them. And this sign lights up, and there's a battery pack that comes with it and what have you. They're 30 bucks. If you want one, and it says, U.S. Congress, U.S. Senate, fire them all. Gives you an opportunity at your next protest to wear something like this. And make it clear that you are not going to tolerate what's going on in this country, that you're not going to participate and allow these traitors to sell us and our posterity and our sovereignty and our nation and the lives and the future of your children down the road for a measly twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. You know, I had a conversation with one of my brothers the other day, and he lives back east, and I talk to him all the time about these things, and 
I, I think he gets it, but he's unwilling, like so many other Americans, to see the tragedy of what's happening around us. And we, we, we were having a discussion about it, and I said, you know, I, I believe in this philosophy, and let me explain to you what it is so that you fully understand it. I am a dead man walking. And he said, what do you mean by that? And I said, I am a dead man walking because I have no other function. The only function that I have in my life right now is to hand off the torch of liberty to your children, my children, and those who come after us. I don't have an obligation to save a soul. I don't have an obligation to do anything good for myself. I have no necessity to do anything in this life. The only duty I have, the one obligation I have that I may not abdicate is my duty to hand off the torch of liberty to those who will come after. And if it means that I have to take a bullet for that, if it means that I have to be imprisoned for that, then so be it, because I am a dead man walking. And you know something? Hundreds, hundreds of militia people this weekend and thousands of civilians, unarmed protesters all, stood there and said the same thing. They stood up and said, today I'm a dead man walking and there's nothing you can do that will stop me from doing what's right. There's nothing you can do that will stop me from handing off the torch of liberty. That, ladies and gentlemen, is our only function. You serve no other purpose for this country, which has given you so much, than that duty, that obligation, and that requirement that is the price. That is the price of your freedom. That is the price of the life that you've, give, that you've lived. That is the price that you owe to this republic, not to these people, these tyrants in Congress, not to the tyrants in your state assembly. That's the price that you owe to everyone around you. You don't owe them food. You don't owe them health care. You don't owe them shelter. You don't owe them a job you owe them only one thing, the right to make their own choice, the right to their life, to their liberty, to their property, and to be able to hold and, and dispose of property as they choose. You owe them the right to make their own decisions, to not live as slaves, to live as free men and free women, to make their own choices, to live unmolested, to be just left alone. And there are those of us that will die for that principle. Irrespective of whatever else you think about what transpired over this weekend, I gotta tell you something, folks. We virtually came to the first shots in a civil war this weekend. And I have no doubt that had one foolish law enforcement official or contractor, as many of them were, got an itchy trigger finger or made a mistake, that there would have been a bloodbath there. And I got to tell you, that may be what it takes for the remainder of this nation to awaken from their slumber, from their apathy. Whatever the price is, you need to be willing to pay it. And you need to move in a, in a new mindset. You need to move forward in a new paradigm. And that paradigm says, no matter what, there is nothing you can do to me that will change my course. There is nothing you can threaten me with. You can threaten me with courts, with jails, with a bullet, and it makes no difference. Because I will stand for liberty. I will stand for freedom. And I will hand this torch to the next generation, even if it means my life. 
for I am a dead man walking. The truth is we've been betrayed. And we've allowed it to go on for far too long. It's time for us to take our nation back. And it's time for us to do it under whatever means is necessary. We seek to do so peacefully, but we will not stand here and be threatened. And God help that first person who commits violence. Oh, I know there's plenty of violence from law enforcement all over the nation. We are under a, an onslaught of abuse <clears throat> and police brutality. We live in a police state. It's time you recognize it for what it is and begin to act as a partisan. Take whatever action you can, lawfully, but take every action you can to throw sand in the gears, to slow these people down, to damage them and their infrastructure. Do everything possible within your power to awaken those around you. Use the circle of influence and your leadership to change the hearts and minds of this nation. You have that obligation. You have that duty. Now live up to it. Because you serve no other function. You owe that to this nation. You owe that to those who come after us. As those who came before us gave their lives for us. You may not agree with the circumstances under which they did it, but they were righteous and they believed in their cause. They may have been fooled by the same traitors that are fooling you today, but it doesn't take anything away from their courage and their honor and their integrity. Now you know. Now you're awake. Now you are with eyes wide open, capable and knowledgeable. Now stand up and be willing to put it all on the line for the right reason and do it today. We're going to take a quick break. You're listening to America's Voice Now. Please find us on the web at americasvoicenow.org. Please find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash America's Voice Now. YouTube.com slash America's Voice Now. Spreaker.com slash America's Voice Now. Uh, user f slash America's Voice Now. I apologize. Um, make sure that you visit Patriot FB and join up there. It's an outstanding, great website. This radio program plays there every day. I encourage you to participate with us there. Uh, you'll meet other like-minded patriots. Please also join the Constitution Club. That's another website. It's constitutionclub.ning.com. And... Um, when you join there, they have uh, every county, the 3,500 counties in the United States represented there. They have a website, a mini website for each one, and a chat communication window so you can talk with other people in your local area. Do it today. Time's up, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to America's Voice Now. My name is Michael Evans, and I will be back in a couple of moments with the second part of our program, and we will be talking about the TSA and the Marshall Service gun scam. Fast and Furious Part 2. <laughs> 